Hello, all you beautiful people. No matter what your hair looks like, I still know you're beautiful because I know your hearts. We are keeping strong and steady through this uncharted territory. We've put some safety nets in place so that we can get up and running as soon as possible. I'll still be reaching out to each of you individually as your appointments come up so that we can reschedule. And remember, I will be working extended hours so I can get everybody in as soon as possible. I really appreciate your patience with this. I'm gonna be making some weekly videos. Who knew it would come to this? <laughs> I'm trying to stretch myself and grow and learn everything I can throughout this process. I hope you're doing the same. Uh, today we're gonna to talk about trimming your own bangs. We have a special guest today. Some of you may have met her before. Hey everybody, I'm back. So, like I said before, some of you may have met Ellie before. Um, I'm going to talk about how to do your own bang trim. So one of the things you want to think about is trying to use your sharpest scissors you have. Sometimes those are sewing scissors. There's also a brand called Diane that you may be able to look online and get. It's not too expensive. It is a haircutting scissor. It might run $25 to $30. Think about that if you want. So one of the things that I really want to talk about is sectioning. You want to use some pins so that you can pin back that hair that is not your bang. And sometimes it's easier to do it dry initially because your bang will stick into your hair hair. So if you pull the hair up and tap it, your bang will fall so that you can get pretty much your whole bang. Do not go back too far, less is more. So don't take it back an extended amount and try not to take it too far over. I hope that makes sense. So you're gonna wanna use the wide tooth part of your comb so you can get all the hair in there and so that the tension is not too strong, okay? So we wanna pull the hair down, gather it together, pull it in, okay? The cameraman Larry's doing a great job. Take your scissors, do not cut straight across. Cut into the bang with the tips of the scissors. Be careful not to cut your fingers. They can be very sharp. So you can see how I'm just cutting across the bang line, okay? So I'm cutting into, not straight across, letting it go. As you let that go, it will create more of a rainbow effect. She's got, a, Ellie's got a terrible colic there, do you see it? But it kind of creates that rainbow effect. Now, the second thing I want you to do is take a midsection here, pull it directly up. Maybe Larry can, do you see that tip right there? It goes up like that. You're gonna wanna do the same thing and just take that tip off, okay? Bring all of the hair to the center as you're lifting up. And again, tip into there. It's okay if that front falls because you're not recutting that. You're just taking the weight out. Now Ellie, again with this terrible colic, this doesn't look that great. But that is gonna get you a decent bang lay. Good luck with that. Also, I wanna let you know that if you have any questions regarding personally uh, your own hair, please email me, text me. I will be answering those as I can. The next video I'm gonna make is gonna be color, just some color basics. The idea if your roots are showing and how to attack that, the best thing to do right now is just to use a product that I've told you a lot of you about called Color Wow that is going to hide your roots for now. Uh, again, I'm gonna be compiling a few videos. The next one will be color. Thank you so much and 
hang in there.